And what was what did your mother do when she what was she doing when she when she met Perry? I don't think she was doing anything. I think uh, my grandmother had a boarding house at Coogee at the time. Yeah. You know, I'm not uh, too sure about that time. I think it'd be somewhere about that time. She was just a happy go lucky teenager. Yeah. No, it must have been terrible then, though, you know, she for met, that to happen at 10 years. Bloody well, uh, yeah. My grandmother had two kids one was a boy and one was a girl. And the boy was about 18, I suppose, when he decided to go and travel around the world. Yeah. Uh, on ships, you know, working his way around. Yeah. Well, he only got as far as New Zealand when the Boer War was on then. And the silly bugger went and enlisted there and became a soldier for the fight the Boer War. But he didn't have the pleasure of killing anyone. He yeah. only killed himself. <laughs> How did he do that? Well, it appears they were travelling in a uh, train to the scene of operations. Yeah. in open trucks. And going through a tunnel, he stood up <coughs> and bashed his brains out on the roof of the tunnel. God, he'd have to be unlucky. Mm. <laughs> well, he, he was a bloke six feet tall, so I suppose <laughs> the tunnel couldn't have been too wide. Yeah. People do ridiculous no, things. I know people do ridiculous things. Obviously didn't have his stack out on. No. The weirdos in the ball walk. <laughs> so what happened when you moved to Willoughby, Dad Pet? What? When you moved to Willoughby. When How old were you then? Oh, I was about six when I got there. Yeah. And I was um, 13 when we left. 13, yeah. Where was that place? We went to Gosford. To a place called Wombrall, about seven miles out of Gosford, towards the coast. And uh, oh, I think we lived there for about 14 years. Well, how old were you when you eventually left home? Oh, about 24. Oh, I was well, uh, younger than that. Because I had my 21st birthday in a bloody quarry, Bussing Rock. Where's you that? left this? school when you were 14, didn't you? Yeah, I left school when I was 14. And I went picking beans when I was 13, and I, that's when I found out a crook back. And the damn thing has hurt me ever since, when I'm doing any stupid work. Yeah. I've done a hell of a lot of stupid work too. <coughs> so what was the first job you ever had? What? What was the first job you ever had? Picking beans, wasn't it, bud? Picking beans? Certainly. No, I was a telegram boy in Willoughby for about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a run history repeats itself, David. Yeah. <laughs> One's in the family, truck drivers and... Telegram People wandering around the world. Yes, yeah. oh, I'd only relieve when the bloke was gone away on holiday. Oh well, work experience all counts. Yeah. And when you left, I don't know how much money I got for it now. Probably about couldn't be much. And what did you get for the beans? <coughs> Six ones a bushel. How many beans in a bushel? Was it kerosene tin full? They reckon was a bushel. Yeah. By the time you lugged it up a hundred feet of bean row, and you'd have about a bushel and a half in it. Because every time you picked it up and dropped it down, it'd sink down, the bins would sink down <laughs> further in the bloody tin. It's history again because Rosemary and I, our first job was picking beans and we got three bob a bushel. Mm. How much? Three bob. Go on. <coughs> yeah, it was You <laughs> was in clover, you were there. No, well, I picked apples once in Hobart. That was bloody enough for me. And it lasted two days and I fell out of the ladder. Mm. So when you left home, Dad, Ted, where did you go? What places did you go to? When I left home? Yeah. You went for a bicycle trip, didn't you? Yeah. 
I went down to Pitwater for a while there. We built a jetty for a bloke and, and there was no more work around, so we uh, left, me and another fella. This tag? We uh, took a boat. He had a, a rowboat there. So we jammed a bit of point into, into the into the fin we uh, put it in for sailing. Yeah. It's a six inch board. We shoved that down in the trunk and that gave us a sailing. Uh, uh, we were able to sail in. Yeah. So we got up to Woi Woi and we couldn't get the bloody board out of the thing. But anyway, we sold the boat to a, a boat shed there and went, took off down to Sydney. Yeah. 